Hello everybody, my name is Periwinkle and today I have an awesome video for you guys. Basically this is one of the last videos of my summer series and I didn't really know what to film. But I do have some camp experience. It's considered a summer camp so I'm just going to throw it in here. And I want to tell you guys about my Hobie or Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Summit of like what to expect and what to do and stuff like that. So I thought this might help other young leaders that are coming up and just my summer camp experience with this. Okay, so the first thing you need to expect is a lot of hugs. There'll be a lot of signs around the building that you're staying in, so it's going to be super easy to find. And a lot of them are going to say like honk for Hobie and right when you get out, right when you get out, a lot of hugs. Just to be prepared for that. A lot of people are going to want to hug you. They call them Hobie hugs, so just be aware if you're not much of a touchy-feely person, you're going to change into a touchy-feely person over the weekend. Um, you're going to go inside, you're going to get registered, you're going to get two shirts. Well, I got two shirts, and then you're just going to go up to your room, put all your stuff down, and then go downstairs, and you're going to have the time of your life, basically. The first day, we had a lot of meet and greet stuff, a lot of icebreakers. You're going to have different groups, um, probably divided by letter, and if you have a group leader that wants to do, like, like have a representation kind of like a mascot they may do it by letter I was in group F so we were the flamingos so that's kind of like an example they may do like a alliteration mascot or they may not it's all up to them um, how we found our group was we were humming a song and whoever was humming the same song was in our group so that's how we found everyone I don't know if that's how it is with every Hobie but just expect something a little strange on how you find your group You'll get together, and I'll honestly admit, these are some of the best people I've ever met in my life. These are my new best friends. I love these people so much that I have met. I'm going to hopefully, like, find some people to film with me, and we can talk about our Hobie experience next year when we go back as staff. But these people I met in my group, not only in my group that I saw and met in the elevator, and my roommate were so amazing people. You're going to, like, absolutely fall in love with them, and you're going to want to keep in contact with them forever. And after you do that, um, you'll probably do a little team building exercise, kind of like we had to build a tower using a marshmallow. Can't tear the marshmallow up, though. Like, tape and spaghetti sticks. You guys probably heard of that. Team building exercise. Um, if you go... Well, the food we had there was good. I can't speak for all college campuses, but food we had there was good. Um, so I guess it just depends on your college campus. Um, we had a dance the first night. It was crazy. <laughs> um, it, there was so much going on. It felt like a whirlwind. It was a good time to be social. So don't sit in the corner. Get out there and be social. I wanted to sit in the corner so bad, but I got to meet so many new people and it was amazing. And then just don't be afraid of going out there and dancing because no one's going to judge you. It's a judgment-free zone. After that, we kind of went upstairs, fell asleep. My roommate was super cool. She lived in Australia for a little bit and stuff like that. Super cool, an amazing person. Next day, we went to a different building and watched panels. For panels, if you don't know, it's where they have a bunch of professionals in their field like we watched we saw people who started their own business or volunteer organizations we had a panel about that and got to ask about entrepreneurship and then we also had one with politicians and we got to ask about the state of our state that's what they called it like state of west virginia because that's where we're from so you got to ask questions on twitter and you got to come up and ask questions it was super fun we had a, I don't know if you guys have seen The Apprentice, we had The Hobie Apprentice, which was super fun. It's where you make your own organization and present it, and we did um, elderly care where people go in for free and teach elderly people with Alzheimer's, arthritis, or just plain loneliness how to draw, how to write, just to get their hands and their minds moving. What we did for our Hobie Apprentice, that starts on the first day, I forgot to mention it, and you presented the second day. Um, you also, we did a privilege walk where you've probably seen it online. We uh, filled out surveys on the first day and then got back some completely random person survey and they'll say we're gonna run a race but before that if you have this person's survey like you'll have a random person it's not marked down so don't worry about like being exposed or whatever. It'll be like okay look at your survey and you had to mark down are your parents white collar jobs um, are you in a single fam single parent family and stuff like that and it will say we have to determine your starting point. So they'll say if you're in a single parent family, take one step back. If you have parents with white collar jobs, take one step forward. If you have people who do your lawn care for you, take one step forward. Just stuff like that. And it really put it all into perspective. Um, after that, we went back 
and we had the talent show. I performed my steel drum, which was really, really fun. I got asked to come back and play for the parent banquet, which was super cool. Um, we also don't take the talent show too seriously, guys. If you guys like want to get a, get together in your group and just do some random reenact lines for all I care, do it. Trust me, you'll regret not participating. Our group ended up singing happy birthday to someone whose birthday, like, my friend in our group, it was her birthday, and everyone else within group F decided to surprise her and sing happy birthday. So it was pretty fun. <laughs> so just don't take the talent show too seriously. If you want to do something, get out there and do it, even if it is just, like, hilarious or not really that, like, not really that serious. If you just want to do a funny skit, do it. But again, if you like want to do a piano ballad, do it. The next day we did service projects. We went to Camp Mountaineer and I helped uh, clean the back area of the kitchen. Camp Mountaineer is like Boy Scouts, by the way. I helped clean the kitchen. I helped clean the fridge. It was very, very tiring. It may not seem tiring, but oh God, was it tiring. <laughs> and after that, we went back and we were supposed to have a pool party, but the pool broke. There was like no water in the pool. So we had another dance. I'm sure you guys will have a better experience if you guys have a pool party, but I still had an amazing experience without it. And it was another dance. And honestly, I got to see so much talent that night. It was so crazy. Like just people dancing that weren't, don't, didn't even compete at the talent show. We're doing amazing. This day, we just kind of got ready, packed up. I'm so inspired. <laughs> you guys are going to leave there very inspired. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you guys too much, but you're going to leave there wanting to change the world. <laughs> um, I only had like one complaint about the whole thing and that was the lack of sleep like they made it they sent us to bed at 12 they kept us up and then woke us up at like six it was honestly so miserable and i know i would have had a, a lot better time if i would have had like another hour or something but i mean they do have to fit a lot of things into one day so don't blame them but god i just wanted sleep my eye bags were like that you can ask anyone i was so cranky and on the bus on the way to our community service project they wouldn't let us sleep either because you have to do cheers and be weary of the cheers they call them pma they're gonna do a lot of cheers if you're not a social person like i said you're gonna be social by the end of this so that might be a flaw for you but it's really gonna push you out of your comfort zone i didn't consider myself too social but now i'm like a butterfly well, hopefully this lasts. I don't know. You're going to have an amazing time. Just know that. And if you're interested in Hobie, if you're a ninth, going into sophomore year or even going into ninth grade year, talk to your counselor. It's for sophomores going into junior year. It's during the summer between sophomore and junior year. So go ahead and talk to your counselors about that. It's so, so, so much fun. And it's basically they pick um, one sophomore per school. I think unless you pay a little extra, you can two people can go, or maybe it's based on population. Only one from my school could go because we're double A, and you just go and represent your school. And it's so many like-minded people, and it's just so beautiful just seeing so many leaders there. <laughs> and I'm just I'm really in love with the experience, and I hope you guys are too. So anyway, that was a really, really long rant, and I hope you guys stayed around for it, and I just hope everyone has an amazing experience like I did. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you all later. Bye!